food. That's from various locations. Overseas as well as in the United Praise States. Praise the Lord. Somebody understands and loves the word of God. See, God, he used his very will to minister the word of God. Is that right? Amen. And I just thank God for being one of his vessels, one of his many vessels, to minister the word of God. I want to talk for just a few minutes from the thoughts. Just a few minutes ago, we were running behind, and, but that's all right. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you don't have your food ready, it'll probably be upsetting for you, but I got mine together. Praise the Lord. Some people have to go out on these days and go to the various uh, restaurants. I've done that too this week. I've done all of it. And I'm going to pull circle back. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is a good thing I just said to praise the Lord. Amen. Get with all my gadgets together here. And talk about the peace of God. Over there in Isaiah, the chapter that people like to use that particular scripture for talk about our Savior come. He's already here. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. He doesn't have to come no more. He's here. Praise the Lord. Now what we do with it from there, we have to uh, build on or it can be identified tranquility, harmony, and security. Depends on the situation. Some people think that peace is prosperity, our well-being. Is that right? Amen. And people like to feel good when they got some money in their pocket. Amen. Is that right? Amen. In the Hebrew, it talks about peace is the shalom. Referring to a relationship between man, the nation, and with God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And as we learn about this peace, and learn from the Bible about the peace, we must get into the arena of having peace with God. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And if we get in the arena of having peace with God, we have a covenant that we can keep Amen. And when you learn to get familiar with God, you learn he's all right. Amen. He's not your enemy. Too many people think that God was an enemy. That's why they have all kinds of trials and tribulations coming their way. But God is not the one that brings those troubles. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. For the Bible says, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come that you may have life. Amen. That you may have it more abundantly. So man's mind has been scrambled for years. Someone was talking to each son, each person here, telling them about why this happened. And God, if God was really God, he would have taken care of me. <coughs> and sometimes when we get our low point, we say, you know what, that's right. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that true? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if we learn about God's covenant and let, let us and learn that he is a friend of ours or we are a friend of his. Well, who's that? Is that Abraham he called a friend of mine? Amen. I want to be called a friend of God. I want to have a personal relationship with Amen. him. 
Sometimes it's even getting teary eyed. I talk about God all the time. I got a relationship with Him. Praise the Lord. And as a tender spot when I talk about Him. And I will never leave that, that thing go out of me. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want to have a place for Him in my heart. <coughs> when I was growing up, a girl used to say, It's in my heart a melody of love divine that no one can take it away from me. Whenever you give a, in your heart and have a relationship with God, don't let no one take it away from you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm talking about the peace of God. When this peace comes, it brings harmony, tranquility. It brings security. Amen. 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 Because we need that in this day and time we are living in. Because in our land we have now, there is no security here. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. I remember when I was growing up that we used to have different kind of uh, plans, pension plans, and what have you. And it was you stayed in so long, and after you get a certain age, they would have enough in there for you to have to retire to live comfortable. Uh -huh. But nowadays everything is changed up. That's right. Amen. That almighty dollar has stipend people's heads and caused them to back up and say, we don't need to pay them that. They've got Social Security. We, we don't have to pay them uh, uh, insurance. And we pay them insurance that I worth the plug nickel. Praise the Lord, is that right? Amen. 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 And the insurance that you received, it wasn't like the insurance you had 20, 30 years ago. That's right. That's right. I mean, you got to pay more out of pocket than you got put in. Praise the Lord. Amen. That goes back to this security, tranquility. People nowadays, I'm not trying to preach doom and gloom, but I want to teach you reality. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tranquility. You got peace. Knowing that someone's got your back. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God has got your back. Amen. Amen. You can give your life to different organizations and stay there for years. And all in a moment, when you hit a certain age, that pull a rug out from you. Right. Amen. I recall a time when one of my relatives, uh, he uh, he was getting of age to uh, retire. Not on him, but my father also. You know, you think about a lot of things as you grow older about what's happening in life. I remember when my father was a certain age, they was pulling the rug out of him. He was a hard worker. Every time he, they asked him to work, he worked. Amen, praise the Lord. But when he got to a certain age, when they don't want you to stay there, they'll throw you on a different shift, make it hard for you. Now, when you get to a certain age, you don't be in a graveyard shift. That's Amen. Right. That's right. I did that for years. Amen. They put him in a graveyard ship and all of a sudden he had what they call an aneurysm of the brain. Amen. I'm talking about my father. And see, he wasn't used to working that kind of shift. Amen. People say, you paid your due. He paid his dues. Amen. While he was younger. Every time they wanted him to work, he worked. Amen. Praise the Lord. But it come a time where he had an aneurysm. His body just couldn't keep it up. He stayed in the hospital a few for a little while. Then he decided to call it a day and retire. Amen. Praise the Lord. People nowadays are so cruel. Yes, Amen. 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 Is that right? Amen. Amen. But true security is found in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that true? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, we better get some scriptures here to. Uh, back up what I'm talking about, praise the Lord, because we need to know about God. We need to know that He is real and that He is a God that will protect us. Amen. We need protection. Amen. Amen. In Romans, the third chapter, I'll get back to that Isaiah probably one soon. The third chapter says, and we cannot create peace with God because we, we are our best effort on our best day are nothing but filth the rise compared to his holiness. We cannot create peace 
with God because our best efforts on our best day are nothing but filthy rags compared to his holiness. We can't do it. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We can't do it at all. We, you know, we try to do a whole lot of things ourselves. We can't get the job done. Amen. Because we are with self. Praise the Lord. Our self just gets in the way. Praise the Lord. Let me read that again out of this particular book here. That particular verse. Romans the third chapter. The 23rd verse. It's talking about God's righteousness by faith. 21st verse says, For now the righteousness of God without the law is manifest, being witnessed by the law of the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. We can't do nothing of our own. Amen. Whatever we try to do on our own, it will fold up and it will not prosper. Amen, praise the Lord. We think we got peace down here, but just by the time you think you got some peace down here, something will rise up. Amen. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. See, that's the reason why Jesus came on the scene. Because we tried to do it our way and found our way was not going to suffice. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. We try to do everything our way, and we found out we messed up. Amen. Every time you looked up, they were doing something crazy in the Old Testament. But it took Jesus Christ coming in to straighten things up. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So you find out that the righteousness of God, God's righteousness is by faith. we got to learn what God says by faith. Amen. Because we learn about God, we'll learn how to live for him. Amen. Praise the Lord. They're filthy rags compared to His holiness. They don't mean nothing. Well, sixth chapter of Romans, the twenty-third verse. We will see what it says. You got to have scripture with everything you do, Amen. and show that you're nothing without God. The Bible says, "For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ." The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. That's the reason why he came, was to bring us back to God so that we can learn about peace. Amen, praise the Lord. Because everything we did was our sin. What we did was, was, was going to bring death and destruction to our lives. But it took the gift of God, which was Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, to come in our lives to bring us back to God. And once we had Jesus Christ in our life, then we got peace. Praise the Lord. That's where peace lies, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. So as I look at the Bible and read the Bible and learn about him, I learn a whole lot that we are nothing without him. Amen. amen. So peace, amen. Hebrews, as I said, the Old Testament primary word, the Hebrew word was peace, shalom, referring to a relationship with people, with God. Amen. We need a relationship with God. And that relationship comes when we learn to let him have our, our lives. Let him have our lives. Let him be in control of our life. Let him be the, the, the main one in our life, the Lord of our life. Then we have peace. Amen. 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 We think we got peace in our money. We got obtained so much money and we think we got it made. I recall a time when I was in today where there was a guy who was uh, he was a school teacher, but he had a sideline business. He made good money on the sideline. And he said this one thing about his mother when she was alive. He told my father, said, you know, I can't buy help from my mother. All the money I have, I can't, I can't buy help from her. Praise the Lord. I'm limited. So money makes you limited. I mean, you may get recognition, recognition down here. They call you, start calling you Mister instead of calling your first name. You were Mister Tim or Mister T. Before that, you were just Tim. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when Christ, when 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 you start getting money, then they start recognizing you as Mister So and So. 
When you didn't have nobody, they didn't recognize you all at all. I mean, when I bought my first car over here in Mexico, brand new car, and uh, this lady, I talked to her, I already cut the deal and got everything. She started cracking jokes. It's a sad thing for people to crack jokes and can't crack. I mean, you know, I'm not saying, how can I say that? Tell jokes and it's not funny. It almost reminds you of a red skeleton. Red skeleton tell a joke and, and he, he crack up laughing before he could finish the joke up. And this lady here was, I had a cougar, I had a 1996 cougar, brand, oh, beautiful car. And uh, she got to tell me about this remote control that I never had one of those before in the car, but I was going to act like I was, I was not aware of what was going on. She said, you see this here? This is a remote control. I said, yes. So you got to go through a lot of little changes before you get what you want. And she told me, you know, I was at the, I went to the shop center the other day and I had a car and, and I lost my car and I had to push the button. And it would, it, would, it would tell me where my car was located at. It's a big joke about that. That's called lost and found. You find your car. Hey Amen. But she got cracking up jokes and you said, ha, ha, ha. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, praise the Lord. But I, I said to say this, people, when they see you got a little change, they want to treat you with respect. You got to learn to respect people who are whatever class they are in life. That's right. Is that right? Amen. And that was the reason why Jesus came on the scene, to show us that we all on the same level. Amen. There's no big I and little U's. My pastor, my first pastor, told me the story, and I got to have some stories in everything I do. He was over in, out east, and uh, he uh, was trying to find out the location where he was supposed to stay at and get some information where he was supposed to go because they had a convention. He was a, he's a big shot at the convention. He was a big shot. Or we call him big shot. You know, he had a place. That doesn't affect me. I could have a big shot position too, but I didn't want it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I knew it curtailed. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. But he was a big shot. He was the, one of the general uh, members of the Church of God in Christ. That's the organization I used to be in. Amen. And there was this one person, this, this little lady. She didn't know who he was. And she treated him like a dog. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And she said, oh, she made some kind of stupid comments to him and all that stuff. And later on, she found out who he was, and she wanted to worship his feet. James talked about that in the Bible. That's right. Is that right? You don't read the Bible in James, it talks about that. Amen. About people that want to treat you differently. Lower class, when you're down, you sit down there, and I'll sit up here, or whatever. And when they found out that he was one of the key dignitaries, and was going to speak that night, oh, she couldn't. Oh, my God. It was a sad case. But if you treat people right, that's what it's all about. Amen. God is for right. That's right. I don't care what color you are, what ethnicity you are, what your status in life is. If you treat people right, you're going to make it in. Because, you know, God despises those people that downplay people. Amen. I know that's right. I was reading a story. I was telling Timothy about that today about when the children of Israel got messed up and they had to go through some changes and people around them was all making fun of them. God said, don't, 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 don't just, don't, don't mess with those people because of where they're at. Don't, don't, don't be glad that they're going through their crisis, their change up in life because your day is coming. You know that? Amen. He, he comes to show us how to treat people right. I come, the Bible said, that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That was his purpose in life. It's not just about he was born uh, uh, years of 2,000 years ago. That's a, a beautiful. He had to be born. That was the beginning. Amen. Amen. But he wants to show us how to live day by day. Praise the Lord. Everybody gets so emotional around Christmas time and they want to do this. And I told you the story about this little character at my worst job. That guy would treat me like a dog all through the year. All through the years. I did nothing wrong with him. You know what was wrong? There was only one thing that was wrong. The pigmentation of my skin. But around Christmas time, around that month of December, 
I may it change like night and day. And you got that like people today, they change around certain times. I call those moody people. Amen. Moody people that don't know how to treat people. Sometime up, sometime down. Sometime almost level the ground. That guy would always mess around. And I had to deal with him because he was the one I changed up. Used the same elevator to get material off. So around Christmas time, he would have passed me on a can. You treat me that way for 12, three, 11 months, and all of a sudden, the 12th month, you're going to treat me a little. You think I want that candy givers? No way, bud. I don't need candy that bad. I don't need nothing you have that bad. That's right, praise the Lord. I ain't got no hate for money, but I, I seen him. I knew what he is. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. You know how a person is Amen. by the way they walk and the way they talk. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You can't. You can tell what that monkey's chewing by the work of his jaws. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well. But Jesus seen all that stuff before he came here, and God seen that. He wanted to break down that middle wall of partition, all that hatred and animosity with the religious people, and with this sect and that sect, and what kind of degree they have in life. Amen. He wanted to break it down. Peter, what Paul said, I count it all done that I may. Follow Jesus. Jesus had it. Paul had a great ministry. Amen. But all the intellect he had, he didn't treat no people different ways. He treated them the same way. When I was in the, these people, I, I, I act like them. When I was over here, I act like those people. That's the way we got to act. We say we're a child of God, but you got to live a life. Amen. How can you say you know God who you haven't seen and hate your brother who you have seen? Jesus came to bring peace. Amen, praise the Lord. I don't care what people say, this is a child of God or this is the prophet of God. By your fruit, you will know them. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. That's all you got to think about. By their fruit. See how they treat people. <coughs> I treat everybody right. Jesus treated everybody right. I'm trying to follow him. Amen. And you got to do the same thing. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. The peace of God. Amen. Break it down that, that wall of petition. Break it down that, praise the Lord, that to have harmony and security. Amen. Amen. You know, I used to be in security quite a bit. Amen. And in security, you were, got to pick up the, the, the slack. Is that right? Amen. Amen. When people mess up, you got to pick up the slack and try to bring stability there as much as you can. Praise the Lord. Amen. But with God, you can do it. I had no problem. Nobody threatened my life while I was in security. Praise the Lord. We had a lot of mess going on. Amen. Nobody threatened my life. Because I took Jesus along with me. Praise the Lord. Now, everywhere I went. Well, Praise the Lord. Because I had the peace of God in me. I said, Lord, I, 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 I'm going to please you. Amen. And the Bible said, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even an enemy be at peace with him. Praise so the every Lord. time I walk in security, not in that, that, that name or whatever the position was. I walked in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I just had to be in that position. But God took me all the way. Amen. Amen. I didn't go look for trouble. If trouble came to me, I addressed the trouble when it came. There's one guy in on the security. I'm still talking about the peace of God. He had to end up getting him a, a bulletproof vest. He said, what's that man? Look, like he's got some kind of you know, deformity. And the guy said, no, he don't have nothing like that. He had to get a, a vest. I never wore a vest while I was down there in that security. But he wore a vest every day he was there. Because one guy said, I'm going to kill you. And that man took him at his word. Amen, praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen, I take the word of Jesus. Amen, praise the Lord. I'm not bad stuff, but I know with him I can do all things. Amen. Through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I learned about this tranquility and this harmony and this security. And I depend on him to take care of everything. <coughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. That inner peace, that peace of God that passes all understanding. I will keep him in perfect peace. Those minds stayed on him. You 
you've got to learn these scriptures in order to stand on them when you go through some situations. And no matter what situation you go through, know that God's got your back. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The Bible says, uh, praise the Lord, in uh, Psalms 41 and 9, is one whom you would uh, be at ease. A uh, familiar friend, a friend, a friend is friends of my peace in in him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. The peace was standard greetings, still used in many cultures. Amen. That's located in Psalm in the, uh, First Samuel, the twenty-fifth and sixth verse. Still used in many cultures. Praise the Lord. People use that peace. I got a guy down in my workplace. Every time he deals with me, when he gets in trouble, he puts a sign in peace. He doesn't mean a heel means. He puts peace up. I call him Dennis the Menace. He's always in some trouble. When he finds out he's in trouble, then he puts his peace sign up and, and does this thing, I'm sorry. I say, get out of here, man. Get on. Get your road, Jack. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. But you got to learn that peace is not a uh, it's not something you can just uh, play with. You gotta learn it. Amen. Amen. Peace is directly related to the action of attitudes of individuals. It's often a gift from God. The presence of peace indicates that God blesses on man's obedience. When we start obeying God, we will see more things happen in our lives. You know that? Amen. 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 And the wicked man can't stay long when you start listening to God. Amen. 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 That's in Isaiah the 48th chapter, 28th verse. Praise the Lord. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. The presence of peace indicates God's blessing on man's obedience. You know, we read some of that in Malachi 2 and, and 5. Praise the Lord. We got to learn these scriptures in order to learn the Bible and learn what God says so that Amen. you can back his word up. You know, God will confirm his word Amen. Amen. every time. Amen. We need God to confirm his word. And God Amen. likes using Praise the Lord. word to see, hey, say, hey, they know my word, so I'm going to confirm it. And God always takes care of it. Amen. God always makes the way. Always. God will always honor his word. What's that say in Isaiah, the, 20, the third chapter, the ninth chapter, talking about the wonder, counselor, the mighty God, Emmanuel. Get that scripture, praise the Lord. This is a good spot for it right now, praise the Lord, about that scripture, praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. I want to talk about that just a tad bit, praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. In the ninth chapter of Isaiah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, praise the Lord. In the ninth chapter, the sixth verse, talking about the birth of the Prince of Peace. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And the increase of his government and his peace shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom and in order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice and for henceforth even forevermore. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's break it down just a little bit. Praise the Lord. Twice early in this section, Isaiah talks about the birth. Praise the Lord. And the children have been described as having the prophetic of significance. Amen. Praise the Lord. He, he, he was a prophet and he talked about Jesus Christ coming on the scene. The child's name will be significant. His character, he will be uh, the sage of, uh, uh, characterized in extra wisdom. He's going to have one, he's going to be called the wonderful counselor. He will have the life that is never ending. He will bring peace. But the extraordinary thing that confirmed he is simply not uh, identified with Hezekiah. Praise the Lord. He's the mighty God. Amen. God with us. Emmanuel. Wonderful counselor. He can be a counselor. He can counsel you. You know, we need counsel in this day and time we live in. Amen. But we don't know which way to go, which is up and which is down. Amen. People come and tell you this or tell you that. You think it's right and it's wrong. 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Con men. Lying men. Amen. Praise the Lord. People think lying is right. Lying is never right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Have you ever seen where the right is wrong and wrong is right? Praise the Lord. It's normal nowadays. No, wrong is still wrong. Amen. And right is still right. God hasn't changed. Amen. Man's changed, but God has. I don't care who backs what this or that. You stick with the word. Amen. Amen. Follow me as I follow Christ. When I stop following Christ, you stop following me. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I don't care what kind of name you have behind you, what kind of title you have. Praise the Lord. When they're wrong, they're wrong. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wonderful counsel. And God will give you wisdom. And when things just don't sound just right, go search the scripture for yourself. That's called studying. Amen. Don't rely on what people say. Don't rely on what I say. Get your Bibles out. Amen. Learn your Bible for yourself. Right. We got to go before Jesus, not before man down here. Man down here say you you're nothing. But God said you're somebody special. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. For I love the world so much that I gave my only begotten son that whosoever believe it would not perish, but I'd have everlasting life. Praise the Lord. So we find out here, praise the Lord, that Jesus took, this is what it says again in that particular scripture. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He took it on his shoulder to bring man back in fellowship with God. Praise the Lord. To bring man back in fellowship with God. See, the whole focus is, praise the Lord, that we need to, to, to know that Jesus is the one that brings peace. You can't have peace unless Jesus comes in your life. That's Paul's peace. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. You know, peace, I'm, I'm getting peace by, I'll drink a cup of coffee, that'll give me peace. I'll, I'll pop some drugs. I'll get a little alcohol. Stimulate me. That ain't gonna do when you come down on that mess, you're gonna still be the same old person. Amen. Amen. We got epidemics on the all now now because they say that, oh, everybody's going to hell and hand back. Oh, shut up. Get on out of here. Everybody ain't going down there. I'm going to want to live right. Amen. I want to live right. What about you? Amen. God's still God. Well, I'm so glad I got saved when I, you have shucks. God's still the same God of yesterday. I used to hear that all the time. I'm so glad I got saved. I mean, God stopped saving people. Well, you're, what you're doing now is not effective. But the peace of God will last forever and ever. He said, I will be with you always, always, even to the end of the world. So whatever's going on right now, hey, God can still take care of you. Amen. God can still calm the seas Praise in the, the midst Lord. of you. Praise the Lord. Nothing should be too hard. He told Peter, uh, come forth. And as long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he didn't sink. <coughs> as long as you keep your eye on Jesus, you won't sink. Amen. Yeah. For he's the same yesterday, today, and for me. Can somebody praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm seeking peace. I want to learn about peace. Praise the Lord. God command us to seek peace in Psalms 34 and 14, as well as Matthew 5 and 9. We should make every effort to do what leads to peace. And I want to do everything I can to lead to peace. Amen. I'm going to study. I'm going to meditate on the Lord. And Josh said, I'll have good success if I learn to meditate on his word. No matter what comes or go, I'm still going to meditate on that, his word. Amen. Because the Bible said, and he can't lie, I'll have good success. Amen. Do you want good success? Amen. Learn to meditate on God's word. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Stay the course. Don't let no one shake you. And they can't break you. They might try to shake you, but they won't break you. Amen. If you're with Jesus Christ. Amen. Can some of the praise be? Praise Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For the race is not given to the swift, not the battle to the strong, but he that do it to the end. That's the one going to make it. Glory be to God. 
Glory be to God. Amen. Believers have the obligation to let peace, the peace of God, rule in their hearts. According to Colossians, the third chapter, the 15th verse, you got an obligation. It's your responsibility to let God rule in your heart. Lord, I haven't been up to par, but thank God I learned that if I trust in you and ask your forgiveness, you come back in my heart. You make me stronger than ever. You know, to tell me that I don't have, well, I should know because I had a break. I broke my leg. They tell me that once you have a break, your leg grows stronger than it was the time when you broke it, before you broke it. You know, I don't favor my leg at all. I had a compound break. And it's stronger today than it was then. Amen, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I've had a lot of problems, but God has always helped me to overcome the obstacles. Amen. Amen. If I learn to have peace in him, rely on him because I know he'll take care of me. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God to take care of. If you learn to rely on him and rest in him, some people like music coming along while they're laying down rest. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But have some word along with the music. Amen. The word of God. Amen. I was reading the individual about, and I, was, I said, something ain't right about this guy. He had some good sayings about uh, peace, inner peace. But he never said anything about God. I'm trying to do some research on him. He's very cool. He then kind of covers up a lot of stuff. Learn what you read, what you read. Watch out. Do some information behind it. Let's see where he's coming from. Jesus Christ supersedes those religions. Amen. 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 Is that right? Amen. Don't get comfortable with some new sayings out. Be comfortable with the word of God. Amen. But that word will bring comfort to you. Get in different translations. Learn more about break it down. Cross-reference it. Find out what God is really saying. You learn, learn that God is the best thing that ever happened to you. Amen. Believers have their obligations to let the peace of God rule in their lives. Is that right? Amen. Jesus gave his disciples peace based on the truth that he has overcome the world. That's good news, isn't it? Amen. John 14 and 27. Peace is a fruit of the Spirit. So if we are to allow the Spirit of God to rule in our lives, we will experience his peace. To be spiritual minded brings life and peace. According to Romans 8, chapter 6, verse. Did you hear that? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you allow the Spirit of God to rule in your lives, we will experience His peace. Not man's peace, but His peace. The Spirit's true mind brings life. Peace. According to Romans 8 and 6. I don't want to take no pills at night to go to sleep. Ain't nothing wrong. If you need it, you go take it. I don't need it. Sometimes I, a little while, so I look the word out and read that word, put that little uh, piece in my ear so I can hear it. Next thing I know, I'm in love, I think. They say you do a lot of snoring when you're in love. I don't know about it. I know I'm feeling good. <laughs> what about you? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The peace of God. And then I get through, I get fresh. I got the peace in my mind and in my heart. Amen. The world will continue to war against the interpersonal conflicts until Jesus Christ comes to establish truth. We got all kind of turmoil going on around land. Amen. On in the land, in the United States as well around the world. But it's not gonna move me. Because I've seen this happen before. I'm sixty some years old and I've seen a few things. Amen, praise the Lord. I've seen things come up. I've seen things go down. I've seen them almost level to the ground. But I stayed consistent. And I found out this one thing. In the midst of Christ, that's when I'm blessed. Even more so. You know why? My hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and his righteousness. And all on the ground is singing to him. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love, your joy, and your peace in your own suffering. I thank you, God, for knowing that you are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. And our hope is built on you, Lord. You are our place of refuge, our hiding place. 
Yes, you are a shepherd we shall not want. You do make us lie down and bring past. You lead us beside the still water and you restore our soul. Oh God, we thank you. Goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. We thank you, God, for knowing that you are the God. You are Lord of our life. I pray, oh God, as we come to close of the service, I pray if anyone looks our miss, got anything from this message today, learn this one thing that God loves you and that peace will prevail. Suicide, all this taking of life is not there. But God is the hope for us today and forever. If you're that one, you say, Lord, forgive me of my transgressions. Accept me into your family. I know I messed up and I need your help to straighten out my situation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.